and uh, let's have a look what we're going to do today. So today we're going to append a list, we're going to clear a list, and we're going to delete an item from a list. So let's start off by writing a function called define append list. Okay, so this is the first function coming up <coughs> where we're going to append a list. Let's have a look. One second. Uh, okay, let's make our list. List one, I'm going to call it. Uh, and I'm going to put some names in it. Uh, Mark. Dave. Pete. Let's say Joe here, just to finish off the list, Joe. Okay, so this is list one. I'm going to append it. Uh, let's have a look. List one dot append. Okay, I'm going to go through this uh, uh, function by function so you can see what's happening and I'm going to go through it uh, at the end as well. So we're going to append it with another name. I'm going to say Mr. X. Okay, so we're going to add that to the list. Okay, we're just going to print some information for the user. And this is going to be, uh, I'm going to do a new line here. Uh, list one hmm, has been updated with Mr. X. Okay. And then we're going to print out list one. So print list one. Okay, and because this is a function, uh, before we can run anything, I'm just going to save it there. Before we can run anything, if we run it like that, you'll find nothing happens. Because, as always, with uh, functions, oh, we have to call them first. So I'm going to have to call it by this name append whoops this name here append list so that's going to be append list okay and this is how we call our functions just save that save and there you go this one has been updated with mr x and uh, there we go that there's mr x so there you go, Bob's your uncle and Fanny is your auntie. Okay, let's carry on to the next one. So, the next one we're going to do to the list, we're going to put the list, clear list. So we're going to clear it, we're going to empty it basically. Clear list. Okay, so we'll just create the function here. Call this list2. Let's say is equal to and we're going to pop some numbers in here one two three four five so those are the numbers that we're going to put in there and uh, we'll get, first of all what we're going to do is we're going to print the list print list two so we can see list two <coughs> print list two and then we're going to print a little message to the user so print what message we do first of all we're going to do a new line here so we'll do a new line and we're going to print uh, list 2 is now empty okay because we're going to clear it so list 2 is now empty and we're going to print list 2 again Again, so we've got a before and an after so this is going to be list 2 okay so go down there a little bit and we're going to call clear list and that. so we're going to save that and we're going to run it hopefully and uh, there we go so we printed out List 2 is now empty. Well, it's not empty, is it? So I've done something wrong. Let's sort this out. Okay, folks. I uh, forgot to put the most important thing in here, which is list 2 dot clear. Yeah, so that's going to clear it. And what I should have done as well, I should have uh, 
got a, a little message. Let's have a look up here. Whoops. So I'm pressed and we're going to put a little message here. Print. Let's have a look. So N and list two is full. So we've got the uh, list two full and the list two empty. So we'll just uh, save that and we shall run it again. So here we go. There we go. List two is full. So you can see the full list there. And now list two is empty. Okay, so there we go. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the final one. We're going to delete an item out of the list. So again, we're going to create a function and we're going to call it something like delete item. So that's very, very clear. So if somebody comes along and they want to read your code, uh, that is very, very clear. You've named your function very clearly so they'll know what it's about. You could also leave some comments in your code as well and I'll, I'll show you how to do that at an, another time. So let's have a look. Let's call this list three. Okay, so list three. What we're going to have in list three? We're going to have something like x, y, and z. Okay, so we've got x, y, and z in list three. Okay, so we're going to print a name. Uh, let's have a look. We're going to print the list. Let's say print list three there we go print list three we're going to print it out so we can see x y and z and uh, then we're going to print a little message to everybody which uh, kind of says i'm not going to do a new line i'll just do it straight underneath so i'm going to print uh, one let's say list three is full Okay, and then we're going to delete something off the list. So we're going to use this. This is, we'll delete it, and we've got list three. And then I want to delete something off here. So we're going to have to use a list index. And if you remember, list indexes start from zero. So zero, one, two. I could put delete two. But what I'm going to do, I want to delete this end element here. So I'm going to delete it another way. I'm going to call it minus one. So if you say minus one, you'll start at the end of the list. Okay, so I'm going to call it at minus one there. So delete list minus one. So I'm going to delete the Z from there. Uh, print out a message to the user. So I'm going to put, for example, the last element. has been deleted the last element here has been deleted and then I'm going to put print list three so we can see what it looks like so it's going to be print list three here okay Right, save that, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call them. So to call them, I have to call all three functions, so I have to name them individually. So the first function is going to be append list here. So that's the first function that I'm going to call. The second function I'm going to call is the clear list. Okay, so that's the second function I'm calling. And the third function, of course, is the delete item that's the third one i'm going to call okay so again go and save it and now what we're going to do we're going to run the program let's hit that there okay let's have a look at what the output is here i'll just shrink this over so uh, we can see it a little bit better just shrink it down a little bit that window okay let's uh have a look here in fact i, I tell you what i'll, I'll do that again so let, let's run it again let's uh Make it nice and neat. So there we go. I'll just shrink that down for you. And we can uh, have a look at what the output is here. So pop that down. There we go. That's nice and clear so we can see it. So 
this one has been updated with Mr. X up here, yeah. So we've got that, we've got Mr. X on there. And uh, let's have a look at the next list. We printed out list two is full, yeah, is full. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. We've got there. And uh, now we've deleted, let's have a look. This two is full. This two dot clear. List two is now empty. So we've cleared list two here. So we've cleared the list. So now we've got an empty list. And then we go on to the third one, delete item, which is X, Y, and Z. So we've outputted list three is full, which certainly is X, Y, and Z. And then we've gone and deleted the last element of the list. So now all we have in the list is X and Y. Goody goody goodum. Okay, I hope that's been helpful to you. And uh, remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, please. It would help me out immensely and make me very happy. And I'll see you in another video. Bye-de-bye.